Hello, darlings. I am Cassandra. Welcome to the daily inspirational oracle reading provided to you by the Jungle Beauty Goddesses. I'd like for you to take a moment and think about what is troubling you, what's on your heart, what concerns you have, any issues, and maybe you're looking for a sign or a different perspective or another way of looking at your problem. You may also allow your mind to settle in your heart and see what surfaces from your subconscious and let it resonate with this reading. At the end of this reading, I am going to give you a choice of one, two, and three pick a card for a yes or no answer for any question that's on your spirit. It is a personal question to you and the mystic beings here are going to answer that question. Now I do want to warn you they give you they are very stark and they give you answers sometimes that really embarrass embarrass you for asking. If your question is not too personal and you would like to share it in the comment box below and, and say what their answer was um, the answer was to you that would be you know pretty fun to hear. So first I'm just going to go over the three cards that I have and give a general energetic check-in. The first card I have for you today is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Kalahari. And Jungle Beauty Goddess Kalahari's message to you is unconditional self-love is the secret to success. The next card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Chabi, and her message to you today is, get her in focus here, speak your truth with audacity. And the last card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Katara and Namib, and their message to you is, plant seeds that bear the fruit of your soul. So basically, this hand the energetic check-in message for today is in order for you to find your divine purpose to live your supreme dream child you are going to have to go within the cave of your heart okay and find that dream that was tucked in your heart before you incarnated in this body now I know that sounds crazy but yes so basically when we're talking about planting the seeds plant the plant seeds that bear the fruit of your soul when we're talking about planting seeds that bear the fruit of our soul we are not talking about what we came to this earth to get but what we came to this earth to give so when you go to your job and of course you respect your paycheck that's the deal right there's a reciprocity relationship and there, there could be one later let's we'll talk about it but basically when you do A, B happens. But when we're talking about planting the seeds of your soul, we're talking about you writing that book that nobody is you know, waiting to read. You're painting that picture that no one is asking to see, right? You're singing that song that nobody's asking to hear. You're you know, you're you're writing a book that you know that the world doesn't care. No one making a video that nobody is trying to see when you are planting seeds from your soul there isn't an immediate reciprocity and sometimes you know what we want we may not even know how many people we are helping even though you may feel like you're unsuccessful so planting the seed of your heart of your soul means you really have to be in touch with your divine purpose and the way you get in contact with your divine purpose is by unconditional unconditional self-love is the secret to success and you know a lot of times the dialogue that we have with ourselves is really the most abusive the the things that we say how we put ourselves down um, a lot of times people are living beneath their full potential I would say a lot of people are living beneath what they came to this planet to achieve because to actually put yourself out there to um, you know to make a channel and make videos and give your be patient with yourself to you know to give yourself time to develop and grow a lot of people don't have that you know that courage or that time to wait it's better to go just get a job where somebody is paying you but your legacy 
that's where you're seeds of your soul, you know, the things that you leave behind that no one else could have left behind but you. Now, when we're talking about self-love, it's, a, it's unconditional self-love is a secret to success. You have to work on forgiving yourself and forgiving other people. If you hold any oh, animosity in your heart, that is going to close off your heart from allowing your supreme dream to surface to your consciousness. I'm telling you the truth here. If you want to live your life on purpose and really shine, you're going to have to understand that humans are flawed, that you are flawed, everyone is flawed, the, um, and to be okay with that and love anyway. Like to have a sense of forgiveness and to love yourself. You know, so what? You made a mistake. So what? Some things happen. So the forgiveness is not just for other people. It's also for you. You have to forgive yourself. And some of the things you can do is buy pink and green gemstones. Like we all know about, um, what is it, rose quartz. And also, I think it's called um, pink calcite or um, morganite. I think that's another one. But just if it's pink and green. These are good gemstones to help you open up your heart chakra, to help you, you know, um, if you need to, to allow forgiveness in your life for yourself and for others. And the other thing to do to get in contact with the dreams embedded in the depths of your heart is to think of moments where you experienced unconditional love. Like to say you were looking at the ocean or looking at the birds outside or looking at the flowers or looking at or playing with a small child and you just had this overwhelming feeling of love hold that vibration hold that vibration so what you want to do is at least think of 10 times in your life where you felt unconditional love like maybe something with your favorite teacher or with your parents or just something that really when you think about it you still get that warm fuzzy feeling write down 10 of those I'm telling you to do this now and when you're in that vibration every day you read that because you want to feel that frequency of love that unconditional love and while you're feeling that the feeling of unconditional love I want you to go into a state of meditation like go over it as many times as you can feel that love and this is when you meditate after this you know when you're in the frequency of love your true dreams and aspirations are going to surface to your consciousness trust me on this okay um, like for me it's making dolls and writing science fiction um, these are things that I do that it has nothing to do with other people whether people like it or not that's you know whether they buy it or not that's I'm doing it because it is a part of the seeds that I'm here to plant It's something I'm here to offer It's something I'm here to give so and when you have a card from jungle beauty goddess Chalby who represents your third chakra and she says speak your truth with audacity once you find your supreme dream you're you need to boldly introduce yourself to the world darling you need to boldly tell people about your endeavor about your business about your song about your book about your painting okay about your channel whatever it is that you're working on you can't say it you know like oh yeah by the way no you have to be it's your supreme dream and when you plant those seeds and it sprouts and you leave your legacy on the planet you inspire and help other people find their dream and their place in the world as well so now I'm going to pick give you an opportunity to pick a to have to think of a question think of a question darling that you want an answer to a yes or no a yes or no um, answer and I'm going to I have the mystic beings here and I am just going to pick a card I don't know what the answer is so just pick a number one two or three and I am going to show you the card so 
go ahead and think of your question and we're just going to pick number one we're going to see together i don't know what the answer is to your question i don't know what your question is but let's go ahead if you pick number one this is for you this is the answer for you from the mystic beings so what is the answer to this person's question i'm always nervous it says does it say count to three pick again wait if you receive this card again, let it go for now. So, it says count to three, pick again. If you receive this card again, let it go for now. I always hate this card. <laughs> it's like, I told you they really... Okay, number one, think of that question. They're asking you to really think about it. You're having an opportunity to ask a different question or ask a different way. Okay, here's the next mystic being answered to your question for number one okay let's see what is the answer you are not ready you see this it says you are not ready so whatever your question is the mystic being says darling you aren't ready i told you they they're really they're very spiritual to me they don't give answers like that so if you are select if you have selected number two think of your question and i am going to select the mystic being to give you an answer to your question i don't know what your question is and i don't know what the answer but here we go what is your answer to number twos no I don't know what your question was but they said no if you selected number three I am shuffling the mystic beans and think of your question and I am going to select the mystic being I don't know what your question is darling and I don't know what the answer is at, but I'm going to pick a mystic being to give you some insight so I have the mystic being in my hand and their question to you, their answer to you to your question is not again what does it say this is the one that says count to three pick again if you receive this card again let it go for now I don't know why this card I'm telling you this is this is why I don't like asking them things but let's just go and see what happens so think of your question. Maybe you need to reword it or think about it in a different way. And I am going to pick, oh, let's see. The answer to your question is, let's see, let's get you in focus. No. Um, I don't know. They said no. So this is I don't have I don't have a question in my head so anyway um, I hope this reading helps someone thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video